welcome to Mersin in Tokyo and welcome to the final day of the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final Fours. First up, we have the battle for third place between Chukarova and Praha. Both pushed for the full 40 minutes in the semi-final but came up just short. And then later this evening, it is the big one. Fenerbahce taking on Villeneuve Dask. Plenty of history on the line in that one. But let's look into this third place game first. That's the road to this third place game. As I said, Chukarova falling short against Fenerbahce on Friday, whilst Villeneuve Dask really ripped up the form book and knocked Praha out, forcing them to play here in this third placed game. Praha now being introduced to the crowd here in the arena, and I'm sure once again they are heartbroken not to make the final. Second year in a row they'll be playing in the third placed game. And I'm sure they won't want a repeat of last year when that third place medal was snatched away from them in the closing seconds of the game. That time by uh, an unbelievable Svente to three. It'll be a tough game today, though, for Praha. They're playing the hosts, but I'm sure that coach Heikova and the team are determined not to leave Mersin without that third place medal hanging around their necks. Plenty of talent for this Praha team as well. Sabali. The last player to come for the floor. Sorry, Shapova will be the last player to come to the floor. But you look through that roster and plenty of firepower. Particularly Magbega, Ayagi, Conte, Kozola, and Sabali. They'll be the go to. Obviously, their captain, Teo Black, out injured after. Uh, knee surgery now for Chukarova to be introduced to the crowd and oh my goodness me Friday night what an atmosphere we had here in the arena they pushed the reigning champions all the way to the closing phases of that semi-final but the experience of Fenerbahce in the end I think was just a little in the end I think was just a little too much for Chukarova to contain however I'm sure they've taken some positives from that game and they'll look to bring that into today's game they too have plenty of superstars as we see Laura Cornelius introduced and just before her Marina Mabry. Two big important backcourt players as is Olivia Epupa. And now for the frontcourt firepower as we see Orojo introduced to the crowd. Didn't see a huge amount of time on Friday's semi-final Maria Orojo. As at times Chukarova struggled to contain the size and skill levels in the front court that Fenerbahce had. However, Stephanie Movunga had a semi-final of two halves. It's fair to say she struggled in the first half, but once she found her rhythm, what a game she had. Coach Yildizalu also lent heavily on Hollingsworth. She came in and put in a big performance, particularly on the defensive end, to keep Chukarova in that semi-final for as long as they were. But another important player for them this evening will be Kalia Copper. If they're to come away with a third place medal, it's likely she's going to have to step up in a big way, bring big numbers, and really lead their team, probably alongside Mabry. The arena lights back to full power. Now the player introductions are complete. Both teams will now head into their final warm-ups after the high fives on the half. We have about four minutes until our tip-off. Plenty of time for me to uh, give you a little heads up. If you want to follow today's game and the final later this evening, please do download the EuroLeague Women app, available on Android and iOS, completely free, and gives you everything you need. So here's our starting five for Praha. We have Kozula, Varachkova, Konde, Ayayi, and Magbegor. No real surprises in that five. Coming off the bench, Teresa Varela Lova put in a big performance in a semi-final, as did Sabali. Expect those two to be the main protagonists coming off the bench, maybe alongside Meze Hoff in the front court as well. It's always an interesting situation these teams find themselves in after the disappointment of losing that semi-final. I'm sure coach Heikova felt it as much as any of the players did. But they will want to regain some composure and, and finish their European campaign on a high. 
always good to finish any campaign with the win. Here's our officials for today's game. Paula Marquez, Paulina, Carolina Gaidosh, and Franka Gaffin from Portugal, Poland, and Croatia, respectively. Here is the starting five for Chukarova, Mabry and Epupa in the backcourt, Mwunga, Hollingsworth and Copper in the frontcourt. And again, coming off the bench, likely to see the likes of Vria Kish and Laura Cornelius, as well as Maria Rojo. They are likely to be the main players coming off the bench for coach Yil Dizalu. He's been suffering all weekend, well, all week really, with illness. At times losing his voice. I'm sure he will do his best though to try and help his team, lead his team to this third place. Let's have a look at some of the head to heads now that are going to dictate this game or have a big impact on today's game. It's Mavunga against Ayayi. Stephanie Mavunga, like I say, tough first half, but a huge second half. 16 points, second half. Uh, whereas Valorant Ayayi, well, where do you start with uh, Valorant? She had a huge game, hit big, big shots early on in that game and really took on a leadership role for the team from Czechia. Under 90 seconds until our opening tip-off here. Both coaches now heading into the huddles to final words with their teams. Great to see some fans in the stands, including some very uh, obvious fans in the neon wig supporting Praha on the road. A long, long way away from Prague, but good to see some fans making the travel here to Mercy. Fives for both teams now coming to the floor. Kozola, McBegor, Barachkova, Ayayi and Conde first to the floor. They're ready to go. They want to get a good start. They want to get out and oppose themselves on this game. Try and put Chukarova onto the back foot. Chukarova five now taking to the floor. Maybury, Ipupa, Copper, Hollingsworth and Mavunga. These two met twice in the regular season. Praha winning both of those games. They won by four on their home floor. They won by 21 in the last game of the regular season. That was here on this floor. So Praha will bring some confidence into today's game. I'm sure they will expect to come away with the third place medal. They are the higher ranked team as well. They finished top of Group B. While Chukarova finished in second place, Praha with a 12 and 2 regular season record, Chukarova with a 9 and 5 record. So the stats certainly suggest that Praha would be the favourites, but we are at the Euroleague Women Final Four, so you can pretty much rip up the form but can go again. And we're underway here in Mersin. Straight away, Conde pulls up. No good, Copper rebound. Third place game here in the final fours. Copper spills it, Vrachkova picks up the loose ball. Kozola for three. Not this time. Where's the rebound? Dropped out of bounds off a Chukarova hand. It'll be Praha ball on the baseline. Quick start for Praha here. Intent being shown here in the Euroleague women third place game. The penultimate game of the season. Yayi fakes a three, drives inside, lane opens up and an easy two off the glass for Varia Ayayi and she gets the steal, no she doesn't, Mavunga just about secures possession back. Conde overplaying Mabry, denying her the ball, 
Praha clearly think that Mabry is the beating heart of this Chukarova team. Now she's got the ball. Pulls up, little mid-range jumper, in and out. Oh, big rebound, Hollingsworth. Couldn't get the roll, though. McBegger with the rebound. Conde cuts to the basket, reverses the layup for two. An early four-point lead here for Praha. Mabry, door closed on her. If Pupa going up against Kozola, skip pass to Mavunga. Mavunga drives inside, well, fade away, rejected by McBega. If Pupa Kim picks up the loose ball though and gets the score. Ezzy McBega has been doing that all season. Oh, sorry, it's a Yayi with the block. And the score for McBega. Pupa now. Chukarova looking for Mabry whenever they can. Offensive foul is going to be called. And an early change for Coach Ildizalu as Hollingsworth comes out and Orojo comes in. Under two minutes played. Not a lot of time for Hollingsworth to establish herself. Let's look at the foul. Yeah, absolutely. Easy call for the officials as Hollingsworth just clears out on the screen. Backdoor cut, McBegor. Good defence by Mavunga, though. Track the cut well. Mavunga at the top, a static offence here for the hosts. Oh, lovely baseline drive by Epupa, but the finish isn't there. She's had a couple of relatively easy finishes that she's missed this weekend. Copper, she'll step into the three ball. Kalia Copper brings it back to a one-point ball game. Kazola stripped away, Mabry quick hands this time, and the transition break is there for Chukarova. Copper will draw the foul. McBegor coming across for the swap, ends up just catching Copper across the face. Two shots for Copper. That's the first to go to tie the game. 19 points, six rebounds and four assists in that semi-final against Fenerbahce. It wasn't enough, though. Misses the second. McBegor with the rebound. Second rebound of the game for the Australian. Varachkova to Conde. Conde drives the baseline hard, has to kick it out. It's off the hands off the Bupa, though. Zola goes all the way around, sweeps it out. Conde catch and shoot off right. Mavunga with the rebound. A third already today. Mabry pulls the trigger on an early three. Trying to find a little bit of early shooting for Marina Mabry. Aye, aye, short. Conde rebound. Not this time, faded away. Out of bounds off McBegor's hand, so it'll be a Chukarova ball. Neither team really finding their feet offensively right now, or defensively. It's not that they're not getting opportunities, they are. They're not just converting them at a high enough rate. Kick ball there by Kozola, ends up on the uh, official's table. Copper trying to shake Conde, not an easy task. Gives it up to Epupa. Epupa high off the glass. Good defense by Kozola. Ayayi now goes strong, will draw the foul off Mavunga. Ayayi. 
Ayi heading to the line for the two free throws. Stephanie Mavunga just wants a conversation with the officials. Clarification on what the call was. As we see, Seni Alcim coming to the game for the first time for Chukarova. Hooper is the player that she replaces. Arojo for three, wide open, skims the iron and away. Varachkova. Ayayi steps in and drains the little elbow jumper. Valerian Ayayi. Already up to six points now. Lovely pass inside from Mabry, but Mavunga is forced away from the basket by Ayayi. Has to fade away. Tough shot, won't get the roll. McBegor brings it back. Pass inside to Conde. High off the glass, will draw the foul off Mavunga. That will be Mavunga's second foul of the game. And Coach Ildizalu saying, I'm not going to take you out of the game. I want you to stay in. Stephanie Mavunga just a bit frustrated right now. She showed her emotions in the press conference after the semi-final loss, was in tears and upset at her and her team's performance. Conde at the line. Praha make the change as well with Villova coming into the game and Kazola taking a seat on the bench. Conde hits the first of her two free throws. 84% free throw shooter, Maria Conde, this season. A real familiar face in Prague, fourth season in Praha. Timeout has been called as Praha's lead is now extended out to six points here. Coach Ildizalu needs to talk things over with his team. He's not happy with the way the game is playing out right now. A lack of energy on show from his team needs to build that back into the game. It'll be interesting to see how Chukarova respond coming out of that huddle. They've certainly not had the opening phase of this game their own way. Copper hitting a three. One of the only highlights, really. Praha making another change as well as Hoff comes into the game and McBegor takes a seat on the bench. Coach Hekova taking the opportunity while she has the lead to rotate, rest some key players. Mabry now against Conde. Uses the screen, there's the roll from Hollingsworth. Arojo at the top for three. Back of the iron and away, maybe with the rebound. Foul's going to be called. Brachkova called for the foul. There's the shot, let's have a look at the foul, is it easy to see? Couldn't quite see it on that replay. Sideline ball for Chukarova. Second team foul of the quarter for Praha. Copper now at the top. Gets it back. She'll pull the trigger on another three. That one's short. Hollingsworth fighting hard, and it really is a battle in the paint, but Praha come away with it. 
Villalova, quick release. Oh, look at that play. Villalova has been a real surprise package here in the final fours. Stepped up in a big way in that semi-final. Came away with a 13-point haul. Foul to be called. Two quick fouls here on Vorechkova. That's going to send it to the bench, and McBegle's rest is very, very short-lived. Kazola also comes back into the game as Ayayi steps out. Maybe trying to establish in the post, but flashes high. Trying to create for herself right now, Marina Mabry really pushing it and forcing it. It's not there, McBegle will get the rebound. Praha pouring down the floor. McBegor wrestled out of the low post by Hollingsworth. Pretty easy call for the officials, that one. Arojo comes out of the game as Keese comes back in. Kozola now inbounds to Conde. Conde fighting against Copper. Copper, good job, but Hoff grabs the rebound and puts it back up for the two. Ameze Hoff. Her first points of the game. Raha's lead now out to double digits for the first time. Mabry inside, kicked out, corner. Jumper is good. Big play by the veteran Turkish guard, Yalcin. Steps in, hits a big shot just when a team needed it. Villalova will come round the screen. There's the pass to McBegger. Oh, beautiful pass from Villalova. Millimeter precision. Jumper goes up. This time it's good for Mabry. Maybe the seal was taken off the basket with the last made three from Yalcin, and now Mabry steps in and drains the jumper as well. Quick four-point swing in favor of Chukarova. Villalova, quick release three. Oh, Villalova! Five points now, two from two from the field. Mabry, foul by Villalova. Maybe getting frustrated and taking it out with a few conversations with the officials. Ayayi back into the game. As Conde takes a seat this time. Praha rotating heavily through their team right now. Mabry, long logo three, back of the iron, spits it away this time. Kazola scoops up possession. Inside to Hoff. Hoff has a double team come down on her. Oh, that is beautiful vision of Villalova standing in the perfect spot. Seven points now for Villalova. Another big game already coming from her. Alchin turns the corner. On Kozola. Back to Mabry. Inside, Keys now trying to back Ayayi down. Oh, bullies away inside. Rebound pulled in by Ayayi. Tempo and energy and passion in the game starting to pick up. Travelling violation called on Magbegor. Raha, though, still with an 11 point lead here. You feel for Chukarova's perspective, it's got to be their big players that start picking things up. The likes of Mabry and Copper need to take over this game for them. Mabry now with the crossover, gets inside. Lovely pass, Hollingsworth with the finish. Mabry, facilitator this time, as she was in the semi-final as well. Ended up with eight assists against Benavache. An all-round player, Marina Mabry. Ayayi now wrestling Copper in the low post. She'll step back. Jacker, awkward looking jumper. Mabry scoops up the loose ball. 
leads the charge, hands it off to Keys, who will finish, and Chukarova are flying right now. Battling their way back into this one. Pozzola, Villova for three. First miss of the game for her, but it will be off the legs of Vira Keys, so Raha hold on to possession. Hoff heads to the bench as Sabali comes in. Sabali's first taste of the action today. Another potentially important player for Braha. Had 12 in the semi-final against Villeneuve Dask. Ayayi attacks Copper, bullies away inside, gets the roll this time, Valerian Ayayi. High scoring first quarter for the Czech team. Mabry now down low, goes strong, nothing there. Sabali wants to make an immediate impact and does. Sabali drives inside, draws the foul of Hollingsworth. Sabali maybe with a point to prove. Felt like she may have wanted more of the game in the semi-final, more minutes, more of the ball. Now she's taking that opportunity. Chukarova will make the change as Mabry takes her first seat of the game and Atash comes in. Sabali at the line for two free throws. 70% free throw shooter. Niara Sabali. First is good. Two from two from the free throw line, steady some Praha nerves as their lead is back out to 11 points. Potentially the final play here of this first quarter, shot clock's been turned off. Copper tries to put it up, it's blocked, but it's only blocked into the hands of Vida Keys. She's fouled, so Keys will go to the line for two free throws. Yeah, Yayi called for the foul. Pretty straightforward, that one. Very good free throw shooter, Vida Kies. First is good. And the second. 5.4 seconds left for Praha to do something with in the first quarter. Kozola kicks it out, but it will be too late. And that will be the end of the first quarter, and it's advantage Praha right now as they lead this one 27 to 18. Ten minutes in the book. End of the final quarter, and it's Chukarova 18, Praha 27. Plenty of work for coach Yildizalu to do with his team. some of the highlights from the first quarter of action and it was a slow start for Chukarova. They took their time getting into this one. They eventually did though and they started fighting their way back in but Praha just kept on scoring. Chukarova struggling at the moment right now to hold on to Praha offensively. Unbelievably it's uh, Ayayi and Villalova. Ayayi having another big game. She's got eight points as well as two rebounds. Teresa Villalobos has come in in just over five minutes, has seven points already. Three from four from the field for her as well. 
As for Chukarova, well, no one lighting it up just yet. Copper and Keys, the two leading scorers with four points each. Second quarter underway here in Mersin. At the end of the first quarter of this third place EuroLeague Women 2024 game, it's Chukarova 18, Praha 27. Matash hands it into Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth pulled at that a little bit. Savily with another rebound. Thrown away though as a pooper. Does what she does best and Comes a defensive nuisance, Copper, short two, no good. McBegel fighting for it, but Savily grabs another rebound. Third rebound of the game for Savily as McBegel blasts down the paint. Pooper looking for Hollingsworth, it's not there. They go inside to Keyes. Keyes battling against McBegor, muscling away to the basket. Not this time. Savily with another rebound. Ayayi, hesitation dribble inside. Oh, swatted by Hollingsworth, but the foul is called. Hollingsworth picks up her third foul of the game. That's a problem for coach Ildizalu. That'll force him into a change. Ayayi will be heading to the line. Yeah, the block's clean. It's the body contact that's the problem. Good for the first, Ayayi. And the second takes her tally up to double digits now. Pooper to Copper. Patience by Chukar over there, working hard to get Copper into the game. Oh, she just glides to the basket. Signature move by Kalia Copper. Savily now in the low post to skip pass. Beautiful ball movement. Ayayi nails the three. Selfless basketball from Praha. It's almost like they have no pressure on their shoulders now, so they're just opening up and playing their brand of basketball. They lead by 14. Copper again, shaking, crossing over. Oh, another bucket. Kalia Copper trying to take this game over for Chukarova. Rachkova, Villalova. Chukarova sitting in a 3-2 zone and it's being picked apart right now by Praha. Another triple, their lead up to 15. Copper now on the wing against Ayayi. Copper drives inside. Hollingsworth dumps it into Keyes. And one. Vida Keyes. Both teams to make changes as Movunga comes in for Hollingsworth and Arojo I think he's going to come in for Keys. Praha make the change as Ayayi comes out of the game and Konde comes in. The free throw is good for Keys. That will see her check out of the action. Six points for her personally. Chukarova still down by 13, though. Chukarova still sitting in this zone defense. Oh, it's dropped by Varachkova. She just about saves it to Sabali. 
Ponde inside to Sabali. Not this time, but Villalova gets the loose ball back. Conde step back, one footer. Too heavy. The pooper now pouring down the court, glides inside. Beautiful play, Olivia Pupa. Oh, and a turnover ball. Varachkova with the poor pass. And Chukarova will get possession back. I think coach Haykova has seen enough sloppiness. Wants to tighten their performance up and has called a timeout. Her team's lead has been trimmed back to 10. It's 27 to Chukarova, 37 to Praha. 6.43 left in this first half. Chukarova working hard to get themselves back into this game and they trailed by 15 at one stage. It's been a five point swing here in the last few moments and potentially coming from new sources. Copper starting to find a little bit of uh, opportunities on the offensive end, but Keyes coming in and getting the job done as well. Chukarova made a change though that sees Mabry come back into the game and Copper head to the bench. See how Praha react out of their huddle. Will it have an impact on their game or will Chukarova continue to fight their way back into this third place? Mabry now skipped into Orojo. Mavunga picks it up. Long two. Too heavy. Varachkova with the rebound. Back into the zone defense, this time a 2-3 zone being offered by Chukarova. Conde inside, kicks it out. Kozula. Shot clock down to four, Conde no good. Drive the baseline, maybe didn't go aggressive enough. Oh, it Pooper picking her way up the floor, hands it to Mabry. Corner pocket, three is good! Chukarova on the ascendancy here in Mersin. Atash nailing the corner three. What an impact some of the more role players for Chukarova are having. Sabali, old school, patience. High low post play from Praha to cut the Chukarova defense in two. Mabry to Ipupa. Rojo bullies away to the basket. Nogbega stays with her and pulls away with the ball. Chukarova fans not happy. Varachkova can't hit the jumper. They'll go again though. Conde, short corner two. Atash with the rebound. Pace of the game, the energy of the game starting to pick up right now. Mavunga. Kozula with the smart foul, ended up in the uh, post defense where she really doesn't want to be against Stephanie Mavunga. Prahata Praha to make the change as Hoff comes in and Sabali heads out. Baseline ball for Chukarova. Foul on Conde. Just gets caught diving in to try and steal it away. Third team foul of the quarter for Praha. Conde's first personal foul. Orojo back to Mabry. Mabry, lovely interchange with Orojo, but it's spilled out of bounds by Mavunga. Intricate basketball, but missing that final piece of the puzzle. Weren't quite able to 
complete the play. Kazola to Conde. Back to Kazola. She's open for three. Back to Kazola. Big shot by the Spanish international. And Praha just looks so much more composed than they did in the semi final on Friday. Their lead stays at 12. Mavunga hands it to Ipupa. Drives inside, off the glass, no good. Varachkova can't save it, hands it back to Chukarova. And Ipupa will get the score off the steal. Up to six points as well as four rebounds now, Olivia Ipupa. Rebound for Arojo. Mabry, step back, three ball, no good this time. You can feel that Mabry wants to try and force her way into this game. She knows that her team need her to be firing a little bit more effectively than she is right now. Oh, rejection, Mavunga, just too strong for McBegger in that situation. Mabry on the wing for three. Really struggling to find that range right now, Marina Mabry. Like all the great players, though, she will shoot her way through that poor phase. Hoff inside against Mavunga. The intention was good. The delivery not quite there for Ameze Hoff. Shot clock down to just two. She'll have to put a prayer up. It's an awful looking shot with no time on the clock left. Chukarova throwing everything they can right now at this game, but right now it's not enough to get them back into single digits. They trail by 10. A timeout has been called here. It's Chukarova 32, Praha 42. Two minutes and 51 seconds remaining here in this first half. Rochel Dizalu knows that his team are getting there. They're finding a little bit of rhythm. They just need some consistency right now. And they really need Mabry to step up and, and be a bigger part of the offense. She's the facilitator there. They need her to be a scorer as well. Maybe with just three points so far in today's game, one from eight from the field for her. Crowd are starting to get into this with a chance of Mersin ringing out around the arena. Conde with possession. Thrown away almost as Kazola just about holds on to possession. Ayayi fakes the three. Foul will be called. On Epupa, the two French international teammates. Sideline ball for Praha. Kazola waits for the Hoff screen. Kazola for three. Ah, oh, string music for Kazola. Praha's lead is back out to 13. Copper trying to shake, pulls the trigger on a three herself, but just didn't look like she was in a rhythm when she released that one. 
off now, trying to back Orojo down. Orojo just stays with her. Foul will be called, though, on Orojo. Hoff will go to the line for two free throws. Yeah, it's that left hand leaning in there. And now it's the left arm hitting the left arm of Hoff. Coach Heikova recently celebrating her 70th birthday. All over social media just shows how loved she is in the world of basketball. Off hits the first of her two free throws. This is the Praha team and the attitude that we've seen all season from the Czech team. We didn't really get to see that in the semi-final. They were unnerved by the way that the French team, Villeneuve Dask, played. Mabry goes inside again. She's short again. Ayayi just about holds on to possession. Kazola all the way. Can't get the score, will draw the foul as Chukarova just running out of ideas, particularly offensively, They're forcing a lot of their possessions right now, and that's giving quick breakaway basketball for Praha. Aitash will come into the game as Mabry heads to the bench. all at 77% from the free throw line this season. Obviously making the move from Salamanca, where she played for Avenida last year. Slightly somewhat surprising, but joining her Spanish international teammate Maria Conde in Prague. Had a good season, had a few little injury niggles here and there, which have disrupted her flow and her momentum, but certainly has been a, a contributory factor to why Praha returned to the final four. Epupa for three. A little flat on the trajectory. Zola with a smart play. Throws it off the legs of Arojo. Zola will head to the bench, though. Villalova comes back into the game. Ayayi into Sabali to Villalova. Sabali against Mavunga. Feeds it inside. Ayayi with the score. Such patience we're seeing right now from Praha. They're looking for that extra pass. That extra pass that massively increases the percentages. Foul's going to be called. I think that one's on Ayayi as Mavunga drives hard to the basket. That's her third foul of the game. That's going to force coach Hekova's hands. Rachkova will come back in her place. Chikarova will make the change as well as Keith comes in and Arojo heads to the bench. The first is good for Mavunga. Unbelievably, her first points of the game. Remember, she had 20 points against Fenerbahce, but one thing I would say, she had only four at the end of the first half, so don't count her out from bringing in a huge performance in the second half. 45 seconds left in this first half. Sabali now attacks the basket, direct, aggressive, but the defense stands strong. And a 13-second differential between the shot clock and the first half clock. Copper, skip pass to Keys, Keys to Ipupa. She'll put the three ball up from the wing and she'll hit Olivia Ipupa. She's really stepped up in a big way at the final fours. Another one of the leading players that kept him in that game against Fenerbahce. She's doing the same again here today. And nine points for her now. Sabali inside to Hoff, Hoff down low. Villalova, quick release, three! And it's string music from Villalova to close out the first half. My goodness me, what a final fours Teresa Villalova is having. 
Absolutely huge performance from her in both the semi-final and the third place game so far. And at the half, it is advantage to Praha as Chukarova head back to the locker room with questions to answer right now. It's Chukarova 36, Praha 52 at the half. Here are some of the stats from that first half performance. Praha highly efficient, particularly from outside. Six from 10, Chukarova five from 16. Praha also dominating the rebounding battle, and I'm sure coach Heikova is more than happy with 17 assists from those 52 points. Leading scorer once again, Valeria Ayaye. She has 15, whilst Olivier Ipupa leads Chukarova with nine. Here are some of the highlights from the first half of action here in Mersin. The final day of the EuroLeague women's season. This is the third place game between Chukarova, our hosts, and last year's hosts, Praha, with 20 minutes already in the books. It's Chukarova 36, Praha 52. And Praha playing a beautiful brand of team basketball that we've seen pretty much for the whole season. And they've had some big performances once again. Valeria Ayayi on 15 points. She had 24 in the semi-final, 15 in the first half here today, alongside three rebounds. One concern being she has picked up three fouls as well in that first half. Also in double digits is Villalova. She had 13 in the semi-final. She's got 10 here in the first half. Usually a little bit more of a role player, Villalova, but stepping up in a big way with the absence of Praha's captain, Taya O'Black. So we are at the half here in this third place game. Started off a relatively even battle, but then Praha really found a way to open this one out. Their highest lead of the first half was 17 points. They enter the locker room with a 16 point lead, but they know that might not be enough. Chukarova absolutely stacked with offensive firepower. As of yet, we've not really seen Marina Mabry get things going she only has three points in the first half Movunga only a single point in the first half Kalia Copper does have eight though but it's going to be really really important that Chukarova come back out quickly and strongly in the third quarter if they're going to make a game of this and avoid the double loss heartbreak of hosting a final four Sixteen point lead for Praha. They'll be happy pretty much on both ends of the floor, particularly offensively. They've been selfless and that's what's given them their 16 point lead. But the second half is just around the corner at the half. It's Chukarova 36, Praha 52.
Coach, what do you expect from the second half? Uh, you know, it is uh, just after 20 minutes we are uh, ahead uh, 16 points, but I know uh, that the home team uh, could uh, fight and uh, could uh, score some miracle threes or something like this. So we have to be very careful, especially in the beginning of, uh, of the second half. Okay, thank you, Coach. Good luck. Coach, what do you expect from the second half? Uh, first of all, we have to better attack their hard edge defense. And also, if we cannot stop their offensive rebound, I think we are, we are going to close them. Okay, good luck, Coach. Thank you.
Welcome back to Mersin here in Tokyo. We are at the halfway stage of the EuroLeague Women 2024 third place game between Praha and Chukarova. A dominant first half performance from our road team, Praha. They lead this one by 16 with 20 minutes in the book. It's 36 to Chukarova, 52 to Praha. Still 20 minutes to play, but this Czech team look like they are absolutely laser locked in to finish third here after a disappointment finishing fourth last season. Chukarova and I'm sure coach Yildizalu, who's just come back to the team bench, will have uh, had words, will be looking to adapt and change how they approach this game because it certainly didn't work in the first half, particularly defensively. They tried to match up defense, they tried several different variations of a zone defense, but Praha still entered the locker room at the half with 52 points. Bear in mind, Praha averaging just 75 points a game, and Chukarova usually concede below 68. So that is a huge first half performance from Praha. And I'm sure that is what coach Yildizalu has focused in on. Leading the way for Praha once again, Valeria Ayayi. She has 15.5 from seven from the field. She looks like she's on track to improve on what was already a huge performance in the semi-final against Villeneuve Dask, where she had 24. However, Ayayi does have three fouls at the half, and that might limit her floor time. Also in double digits for Praha is Teresa Violova. She has 10 points at the half, including two from three from outside, as well as three assists. Another big performance from her here in this third place game. And as for Chukarova, no players in double digits. Olivia Apupa leads their scoring with nine points, as well as five rebounds. Just behind it is Kalia Copper with eight, but probably the biggest worry for coach Hildizalu is the fact that Stephanie Mavunga has a single point in that first half. And also, Marina Mabry has just three points. Second half just around the corner, a little over 30 seconds away. Just enough time for you to grab your phones, download the EuroLeague Women app, completely free, available on iOS and Android. Definitely worth a download. Second half underway here in Mersin, third place game in this year's EuroLeague. Women at the half, Praha in a dominant position, leading this one by 16. Conde almost has it stolen away, drives inside, dumps it off to McBegor, and McBegor gets the score. Praha really picking up where they left off. Just that extra pass every time for Praha in the first half, paid off in a big way. Mabry now. Copper. Little short. McBegor with another rebound. Skip pass. Ayayi won't take the three. Little sidestep now. She'll take the three, but that's way short from Ayayi. Keys. Oh, rejected. McBegor says, not in my house. Look at this play. Stays with the play. Swats it into the front row of the crowd. Copper, catch and shoot, no good. Ayayi with the rebound. That's off the foot of Mavunga. Conde now, looking for options ahead of her. Oh, lane opens up, great screen by McBegor and Conde. 
takes full advantage of it. Raha's lead up to a game high 20 points now. Chukarova have to react and they have to react soon or this one's going to run away from them. Thrown out of bounds, another turnover. Defensive change here from coach Yildizalu. As I think Chukarova are going to drop into a zone, just trying to clog the paint up a little. 2-3 zone. Inside to Magbegor, stolen away by Epupa. Mabry trying to skip away in. Has to come back out, though, as the Praha defense collapses on her. Mavunga, nice pass inside. Oh, Keese can't get the score. She'll have to earn a point from the free throw line. Vida Keese. She had a tough semi final, to be fair, just couldn't get the shot to go. Gary will be disappointed she didn't score at the first opportunity. First is good. Chukarova really now need to capitalize on every single opportunity that are given to them. Zola inside to McBegor and stolen away again. Better defense now from Chukarova. Mabry bounces off Varachkova, goes inside. No call. Mavunga with the offensive rebound. Ipupa for three. Olivia Ipupa stepping up in a big, big way now for Chukarova. First Mersin player to double digit. She has 12. And it's thrown away. Is this the beginning of the comeback for Chukarova? They've cut Praha's lead to 15. Coach Haykova has seen enough. She's called a timeout. Wants to stop the rot before it becomes too much. A little under three minutes gone in the third quarter, and Praha will get to their huddle and try. Relatively quick timeout from coach Haykova. The five were back on the floor quite quickly, ready to go. I don't think it's major changes, just a tightening and maybe a reinforcing of what was discussed in the half locker room. Olivia Apupa, though, what a game she's having. Just averaging over four points a game this season, already has 12 here. And that's on the back of a 13-point haul against Fenerbahce in the semi-final. Keys comes up short. Won't get the bucket to drop this time. Kazola now hands it to Conde. Ayayi against Mavunga. Mismatch down in the low post, but it's stolen away by Epupa again. Mabry scoops up the loose ball, hands it back to Epupa, but it's stolen back by Praha. Kazola drives the lane. 
Conde for three. Oh, not a pretty shot at all from Conde, but she chases down her own rebound twice. And again, three misses out of three there for Conde. Pass inside to Mavunga. Should have gone up. Instead, she fades away and misses it. Pupa scoops in. The smallest player on the floor will get the points. Seven point swing here in favor of Chukarova. We were down by 20. Conde. We'll draw the foul off Mabry. And we'll head to the free throw line. Second foul on Mabry. Conde will head to the line. Aggressive play by Maria Conde, very similar to the way Mabry attacks the bucket. Laura Cornelius comes onto the floor for the first time today for Chukarova as Olivia Apupa takes a well-earned break. The first is good for Conde. Two from two will settle some nerves for Praha. Maria Conde stepping up when they needed her to. Mofunga now. Oh, lovely spin move. Used the contact to help the spin, but doesn't get the jumper to fall again. Mofunga continues to struggle offensively. Yeah, yeah, we'll draw the foul. Oh, Hart trying to regain composure in this game. Chukarova trying to continue to assert themselves. Skip pass. Baseline drive, Conde going all the way around the houses. Foul is called. Wonga will go to the bench on that one as Hollingsworth comes into the game. Double change for Praha as Rachkova goes out and sorry, single change. Rachkova out, Sabali in. Bit of a bigger lineup now for Praha. Be interesting to see if they try and utilize that. Try and overpower Chukarova. Second is good for Conde. Doing a great job from the free throw line in the last two possessions, Maria Conde. She takes a tally to double digits now. Ten points as well as eight rebounds. Real over called for the foul as she just reaches in on Cornelius. Kiss for three. That's a big shot and could be a big moment in this game. Vida Kiss brings it back to a 14 point ball game. Feel a little bit more optimism amongst the Chukarova fans here in the arena in Mersin. Back door, Ayayi misses the layout. Copper rips it down. Aggressive defensive rebound by Copper. Goes all the way. Knocked out of bounds by Sabali. Chukarova will hold on to possession.
baseline ball for Chukarova. Final warning, I think, for Coach Yildizalu. As the official indicates. Foul's going to be called. That one on Ameze Hoff, her first foul of the game, 13th foul of the quarter for Praha. Mabry turns the corner, feeds Hollingsworth. Oh, Hollingsworth blows the lines on a relatively easy layup. She looks to the skies as she runs back down the floor. Hyundai. Mismatch against Keys. Foot speed. Villalova pulls up mid range two. That's short. Better defense from Chukarova. Far more intensity, far more on ball pressure. Copper now inside to Keys. Keys. Fouled by Sabale as she falls to the floor. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, the armbar just extended. Didn't stay stationary on that armbar. He's to the line for two shots. Chance to bring it back down to just a 12-point ball game and give some confidence and momentum to the home team, Chukarova, with a little over 13 minutes left in this third place game. Two from two from the free throw line, and we have a 12 point ball game. Off now in the low post. What's the foul call? It's just a foot. It's a foot violation. It'll be a fresh 14 for Praha to work with. Coach Hekova will make the change as Conde comes in and Vrachkova comes. Sorry, Vrachkova comes in and Conde goes out. Game is starting to set itself up beautifully for a fourth quarter here. Shot clock down to nine. Kazola, offensive foul called on Ameze half as she sets an illegal screen to clear the defense out the way. There's the screen that continues to keep moving. Chukarova make a change as Ibupa comes in and Mabry comes out. She doesn't look too happy about that. Copper. Keys for three, that's short by a long way. And Meze Hoff scoops up the rebound. Fifth rebound of the game for her. Rashkova fakes the three, tries to pass it inside. It's read by Copper, though. Crowd starting to get back into this game. Long two is good, Kalia Copper. Raha's lead is just 10 points now. Kazola loses possession, is scooped up by Copper. She's going to put the Jets on. Sabali called for the blocking foul. Smart foul by Naira Sabali. It's only going to end one way if she'd let it. Sideline ball. In fact, no, it will send Copper to the line for shots. Mabry with a very quick break. He's back into the action as Cornelius comes out. Praha will make a change as well as Hoff. Goes to the bench and into the action. Returns McBegor. <laughs> 
Topper at the line for the second. The second is good. A nine-point ball game. Two and a half minutes left in the third. Offensive foul has been called on Varachkova. Another illegal screen. Being set by the 24-year-old as a pooper ends up on the floor. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, it's the right call. It's still moving. Two and a half minutes remaining in the third. Chukarova absolutely on the rise right now. They've outscored Praha 12 to 8 in this quarter. Praha had a 52 point first half. They've only had an 8 point third quarter. That is a real stark contrast. Copper, long two. In and out. Keys rebound. Not this time. The battle for the rebound goes on. Keys picks it up again. Is it stolen away? It almost is. It'll be a backcourt violation. As Mabry couldn't quite hold on to it. There's the replay of the backcourt. Sideline ball for Praha. Pazola now back to Villalova. The boos and the hissing ringing out around the arena. The home fans fully invested in this one. Foul called on Mabry. That's her third foul of the game and the fourth team foul. Zola drops in along two. The ever reliable, composed Mighty Kazola. Keys now. Trying to barrel away inside. Savily, good defensive footwork. Mabry, step back jumper, no good. There's the rebound. Chukarova worked so hard on the glass. It's inside. What's the call? Foul is called on the floor. That one's on Magbegor. Chukarova will make the change as Cornelius will come in. I think they're trying to protect Mabry, who's on three fouls. Coach Haykova, look at how much passion she has. Demanding a team are more aggressive on the boards. Keys will go to the line for two free throws. Perfect from the line this evening. Seven from seven. Make it eight from eight. What a job she is doing right now for her team. 15.6 rebounds. Vida Keys. Two from two, that trip. 16 points now, but more importantly for Chukarova, they are within single digits. McBegor dumps it into Savali. Savali will get the score. The two bigs working well together for Praha. Cornelius trying to find a way through, but Villalova stays in front of her. Inside, Hollingsworth, what a catch! What a finish by Hollingsworth. Able to out-muscle Ayayi. Thirty-five seconds left in this third quarter. Magbegor drives inside. Kazola running right hand, it's a big shot. A tough, heavily contested shot from Kazola. Pupa now wants to slow things down. Less than a second difference between the shot clock and the third quarter clock. Pupa now. Inside to Keyes, what's the call? It's on the floor. I think it might be on Kazola. That earns Keese another 
trip to the free throw line where she's been perfect so far this evening. Yeah, just Kazola hooking her arms around Keys. A perfect run from the free throw line continues. And that comes to an end and with that free throw. Kazola gets it away. It's short. And that is the end of the third quarter here in Mercy. In a six point swing in favor of the home team. The crowd really getting behind their team in that quarter, giving them every chance to try and claim third place. But at the end of three, it's Dukarova 56, Praha 66. Ten minutes left before we find out who will be the third place team in this year's EuroLeague women. Just 10 minutes of basketball left in the European campaigns for both of these teams. Both of them determined to leave EuroLeague women this season on a high with that third place medal around their necks. But only one of them can. Praha obviously know the pain of finishing fourth on, the, on your home court. They did so last year in Prague. Whilst Chukarova picked up the second place medal losing to Fenerbahce in the title game last year. So both of these teams have recent memories and will want to close out this season on a high. Final quarter underway here in Mersin. Ten more minutes for one of these teams to claim that third place. As it stands, it's Chukarova 56, Praha 66. Cornelius throws the pass away. Probably would have been better for her to just take the jumper herself. It would have been uncontested, but it's stolen back by Hollingsworth. Copper, no and one. Looked like it was going to be, but she'll go to the line for free throws instead. Copper not having the best season from the free throw line here in Chukarova. Just 61% in EuroLeague women. Yeah, a little body contact there for Sabali. Copper gets the first to drop. And the second is good. An eight point ball game here in Mercy. McBegor. Inside to Sabali. Shot clock down to five. Ayayi. Corner pocket three. It's string music for Ayayi. Another big game for the French international. 18 points now for Valerian Ayayi. Backdoor cut, no good. Pass doesn't find the mark, and McBegall picks it off. Yeah! 
Kazola harassed by Ipupa. Sabali back out to Kazola. Another three goes up. Another three goes down. Back to back triples to start the fourth quarter. Phenomenal way to respond from Praha. Timeout has been called by coach Yildizalu as the lead is back out to 14. And he needs to react again. Let's try and head into the huddle. What a way to respond for Praha. Back-to-back -back threes within the first, well, less than 90 seconds of the fourth quarter has re-established a commanding 14-point lead. Can Chukarova dig deep again? He's been asked to do it, well, across both games here in the final fours. Is there any left in the tank? Can they push hard? Can they fight all the way to the end? Copper pulls up. Beautiful play by Kalia Copper. Stops on a dime to create her own space. Kazola to the basket and one. Kazola, big play, tough play. Spanish international leading by example right now for her team. Heading to the line for the chance of a bonus. There's the foul. Slaps on the wrist from Ipupa. And converts the three-point play. Praha's lead back out to 15 points now. Cornelius will pick up the foul from Conde. Conde just a half step off the play. Cornelius pass inside. Hollingsworth fades away. Fades away a little too hard and. Comes up short with the jumper. Coach Vizalu can't wait any longer, Mabry. And Mavunga will come back into the game. And Pupa steals it away, though, leads the charge. She'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kazola. Kazola stands strong. That one's her, though. Kazola left on the floor. Ay -ay -ay! No three ball this time. Copper slows it down. Creates her own shot again, but that one's off left. Kazola with another rebound. Unsportsmanlike foul is going to be called on Kalia Copper as she just pulls Mighty Kazola back. And Coach Yildizalu looks across, slightly confused by the action from Kalia Copper. The defense was back. Hollings was, was uh, at home helping. The foul was unnecessary. Triple change, in fact, for Chukarova as Rojo, Mabry and Mavunga come into the game. Hollingsworth, Keys, and Cornelius head to the bench. Kazula at the line for shots. Two from two for the unsportsmanlike foul shots, and Praha will get possession on the side as well. It's all an hour again back in possession, pulling all the strings here in this final quarter. 
Down low, foul called on Mavunga. As Magbega looks to take it to the rack. Now once Magbega gets you sealed that way, it's always going to be difficult to try and block her from behind. Such a long, rangy wingspan. Australian is good with the first of her two. What a year Ezzy McBegot has had. All EuroLeague women team is uh, an accolade that is very, very much deserved for the Australian. Timeout being called here in the arena. Praha's lead out to 19 now. A strong start to the final quarter by Praha has forced coach Yildizalu into a timeout as he tries one last throw of the dice to try and push his team back into this one. Just six minutes and 54 seconds remaining in this third place playoff here in the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final Fours in Mersin. And what a job Mike Cazorla has done today. 19 points, real leadership here in the fourth quarter, picking up maybe some of the slack that the absence of Praha's captain, Taya O'Black, has caused their team. What do Chukarova have? Is there anything left? Any more tricks to pull? Out of bounds, it will be white ball. Sideline ball. Chukarova putting on all the big guns right now. One last throw of the dice from coach Yildizalu. Mabry for three. Off target, Marina Mabry having a night to forget right now. One from 12 from the field for her. Praha will gain possession. Magbegot hands it to Sabali. Kazola, skip pass, Conde will drive inside. That's an easy one off the glass. Oh, too heavy though. But Praha will get the long, loose ball rebound. A fresh 14 for them to work with. Ayayi for three, off target. Rebound ripped down eventually by Mavunga. Chukarova need to do something, can need to do it fast. The clock is not their friend. Inside a tangle of bodies, and Kozola comes away with it. Foul is called. And that is the fifth foul on Mavunga. That will be her last minutes on the floor here in this year's EuroLeague Women Final Fours. Coach Yildizalu will have to bring Kisin in her place. I'll make another change as well as the Pupa will come to the bench and back into the game comes Yalchin and Praha to make a change as well. Sabali out, Hoff in. Five minutes and 34 seconds left. I think a technical foul must have been called as well. We see a, a bonus free throw being taken. 
That technical foul slipped past me. It was a bench technical for Chukarova. Kazola back to Hoff. Hoff to a Yayi. Yayi dribbles inside, has to come out though. Beautiful interchange here from Praha. Yayi gets her own rebound twice, will go again. And this has been a big problem at the final fours for Chukarova. The protection of their own rebounds has been pretty poor at times. Keith long two. Rattles that one home. Fira Keese, one of the bright spots of today's game. She's up to 19 points now. That's a season high for her. That's a considerable season high. Previously, it was 13 against Gure back in game day 13 of the regular season. Ah, oh, McBegor drains the three. Is there anything that she can't do? What a season she's having, and she wants to finish it out on a high here. 13 points for her now. Copper inside. Does not drop. Hoff, wide open, no one guarding her, and an easy two points as Chukarova's challenge is just crumbling before her eyes here. Now a 24-point lead with just about four minutes left. Is this a step too far for the hosts? Has it been a, a couple of games too far? And you wonder how much did that Fenerbahce game take out of them? They put everything into it. They did push Fenerbahce, the reigning champions, all the way to the wire. But maybe they just didn't have enough left in the tank for today's game. Batted away. Almost taking out our commentary positions on the baseline. Some quick hands from some of my colleagues. Izzy McBegger with her double-double, 13 points and 10 rebounds, as well as four assists and an efficient 13 points as well. Four from six from the field. Baseline ball when we come back into the action. We're good to go now. Conde with the ball on the baseline. Inbound to Hoff. Conde looking to attack the baseline. Pulls up for the short corner instead. Can't get the jumper to go. Galchin backs it out. Patience now from Chukarova. They'd rather build good offense than quick offense. Copper from the corner is good. It's the three. Still a 22 point lead though for Praha. They've left themselves a mountain to climb now if they're going to stage a comeback. Inside to Hoff with the spin, drops it to Conde. Villalova for three! Teresa Villalova having back-to-back -back big, big games. 13 points now for her, as well as five assists. Mabry to Copper. Copper attacks the basket, draws the foul off Villalova. Copper will... Head to the charity strike for two free throws. Sideline ball. She won't go to the bucket. They're saying no continuation on that play. The foul was called early enough that it was on the floor. Pass to Hollingsworth and collision. Down low. With Chapova. Just come into the game, as has Shibalova. Quite a contact there for the 25 year old. Looks 
like we're going to see Andal over come into the game as well, the Czech international. As Kocek over, believes job done right now. 25 point lead, two minutes and 18 seconds to go. Making sure that uh, all her team gets some minutes on the floor. certainly give the Praha team some confidence after what was a, a nightmare Final Four last year, back in Prague on their home floor, losing in the semi-finals, losing in the third place game on a buzzer beater. They'll be super excited to come away with a third place medal here today. Oh, big play, and a lover. Step back triple, a little wry smile on her face as she drops that one. The bench are loving it as well. Mabry now, hands it off to Keese, inside to Copper. Batted out of bounds, it's off Copper, so it'll be a Praha ball. Another change, and this time we'll see Petlanova come in. Another youngster, just 19 years old. There's the Andalova triple as it whips through the string. Shot clock down to five, lovely pass inside, and Shapova will get the two on the roll. And Praha, no matter which five are on the floor right now, continue to stretch their lead out. It's up to a 35 point, uh, sorry, a 30 point lead here. Keys inside, skips it to the corner, Mabry won't take the shot this time. Hollingsworth, lovely pass by Mabry. Hollingsworth working hard to seal down low. Pass inside. Hoff will bounce it out of bounds. That'll be a turnover. Chukarova ball on the baseline and a dejected home team right now. They had such hopes. Being hosts, taking on their rivals, Fenerbahce in the semi-finals, and it's heartbreak. Two seasons in a row, the hosts have finished in fourth place. Offensive foul will be called. And that one's on Hollingsworth with the illegal screen. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's the right call. She leans into it. Take over and the official uh, have a coming together accidentally down by the Praha bench. All's good though. And a lover. Uses a screen from half lane, opens up, glides inside, misses the gimme layup though. It's almost stolen away. It is stolen away, but it's quickly stolen back. Copper will slow it down. Final 14 seconds. Had a four-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Copper will just dribble this one out until the shot clock expires and hand it back to Praha. And that is the end of the third-place playoff game between Praha and Chukarova. And it is Praha that will come away with the third-place medal here at the 2024 EuroLeague Women Final Fours. A resounding 28-point win for the team from Czechia. Chukarova, our hosts, heartbroken. Walking away with the fourth-place medal is not what they envisage, but the final score is Chukarova 67, Praha 95. A little bit of redemption for Praha after their heartbreak as hosts last season. Picking up the third place medal will certainly give them some momentum and some confidence. And you do wonder if they can keep this roster together for next season, how big it could be. Here are some of the stats from the game. Great shooting percentages from Praha, a high efficiency game.
whilst Chukarova really struggling to get their offence firing in this one, both ends of the floor. Praha looked good, they won the rebounding battle, 29 assists for their 95 points. Ayayi leads all scorers with 21 points, whilst Vida Kis comes away with 19 as the leading scorer for Chukarova. Tough way for the home team to finish their final four hosting duties, but joyous celebrations on the bench for Praha. As we get ready for the presentation of medals for both third and fourth place. Both teams will head back into the locker room area before they come back out to receive their medals. And as much as the Chukarova players are not interested in this right now, they should be proud of what they've achieved this season. It has been a hell of a season for them, pushing all the way, making their way to the final fours. And on a bigger picture note, having a, a phenomenal job, doing a phenomenal job, sorry, as our hosts. An amazing city, Mersin. It really has been a wonderful host for the climax to the Euroleague women's season. But for Praha, it is joy, it is hugs, it is smiles, as they put to bed a little bit of heartbreak from last season and look to build again for next year. If Coach Haykova can keep this roster together, then there's no reason why they can't build and, and go again. Look to take it maybe a step or two even further. Could we see them lifting the trophy next year? Consistency for me is definitely an advantage. As we see the trophies and medals that will be presented. Praha now will be guided off the court. They have to go back to the locker room area so they can come back onto the floor to receive their medals. And now make their way back to the locker room area. And then both teams will come back onto the floor where they will get their medals presented to them plenty of smiles on the faces of the Praha players as they head back a tough game for sure but one that's going to end in joy just getting the final details in place but uh, a joyous moment for Praha. After plenty of heartbreak in recent years, they've not had the best of times since they won it back in 2015. The Final Fours have certainly not been a, a, a friend to them in the last few seasons, but today they take the first step towards redemption with claiming of the third place here at the 2024 EuroLeague Women's Final Four. Some big games as well. Some big performances across that Praha team. Five players in double digits. Ayayi leading all scorers with 21 points and eight rebounds. Maida Gazola has 19 points as well as six assists. Both McBegel and Violova have 13 points each. McBegel with the double-double, 13 points, 10 rebounds and four assists, as well as big three blocks for her. And then Maria Conde came in with 10 points, eight rebounds and four assists. A tough night at the office for Chukarova. Their leading scorer was Viola Kiss, who had 19 points, including 10 from 11 from the free throw line. Kalia Copper, 18 points, as well as seven rebounds and three assists.
Olivier Poupa, the only other player in double digits with 14 points and seven rebounds. And real quiet nights for Stephanie Mavunga, who only had a single point as well as six rebounds and fouled out of the game. And also for Marina Maybrick, a very unexpected three points, one from 12 from the field for her. She did have six assists, though, really did try and become a facilitator. But maybe it wasn't enough today for Chukarova to come away with this one. Now Chukarova will come to the floor to receive their fourth place medals. First out will be Marina Mabry. Followed by Yalchin. Vera Kis is up next. Laura Cornelius. Olivia Epupa. Maria Arrojo. Deren Yaya. Sinem Atash. Stephanie Mavunga. Juanatra Hollingsworth. Maltem Avji. And then finally, Kalia Copper. Unsurprisingly, they don't look too happy, but when they get some time to kind of step back from this and reflect on what they've achieved this season, it's a big, big season for them. They've done a hell of a job. There is your fourth place team for EuroLeague Women 2024. It is Chukarova Basketball Mersin. No smiles except Stephanie Mavunga. In comes the Chukarova mascot. But they should be proud of what they've done to across this season the final fours they haven't played to their potential but across the season they put in some big performances they've given us some amazing games and i know for myself and the neutrals out there a huge thank you to that team for a great season of basketball and you just feel it's another step in their process another step in the journey they picked up second place medals last season fourth place this year that is how you build a dynasty. That is how you build a big club, consistently being at the biggest competitions, being there at the closing stages, being there when the medals are decided. And that's what Chukarova have done two seasons in a row now. And they'll look to go again, I'm sure, next season. Be interesting to see what roster looks like for Chukarova next season, whether they keep some consistency or not. The players for Chukarova head off the floor with their fourth place awards. We await the arrival of our third placed winners. As Praha will come to the floor. Raha now coming to the floor for the presentation of their third place medals. Plenty of smiles on the faces of the players as they come to the floor. Shivalova will lead the way, the 18-year-old followed by the 19-year-old Petlanova. Then Andalova steps forward. Kozula will be next. Varachkova. There's Andalova receiving her third place medal. Spanish international Maite Gazzola getting her third place medal as well. Rachkova stepping up alongside Conde. Valeria Ayaye, another big performance from her 21 points and eight rebounds. Villalova stepped up again, another 13 point. Five assist performance for her. Ezi Mugbega with the double double, coming away with 13 points and 10 rebounds. Ameze Hoff providing good support from the bench in the front court, as well as Niara Sabali. She ended up with five boards today. And then the final player to collect their medal is Veronica Shapova. And the final person to collect their medal is going to be. 
Natalia Hekova. Certainly a lot happier this year than she was last year. As a, a team, as she said before the final fours, she just wasn't sure at the beginning of the season how this team was going to shape out, but they've certainly shaped out in a good way as they look to pose for the photos here. As Coach Hekova quickly hustles round to the far side. And they all shuffle along to get to the middle of the court. And that is all smiles for the players of Uesca Praha, the 2024 EuroLeague Women third place winners. All smiles and rightfully so. What a job they've done today. A 28 point win against a very, very strong Chukarova roster. They can be proud of the season that they've put in. As I'm sure the preparations for next season have probably already begun in Prague. But all smiles all around for those Praha players. As the celebrations will now continue. What a wonderful third place game we've had here. Final score here in Mersin is Chukarova 67, Praha 95. It's the team from Chakir that will come away with the third place, whilst Chukarova, our hosts, will settle for fourth. Thank you so much for joining me. We will be back shortly with the big one, the final, the climax of the season, as Fenerbahce, the reigning champions, go up against the fairy tale team of the season, Villeneuve to ask. Make sure you check back in for that one. It's going to be a huge one here in Mercy. You finished Euroleague in the fourth place. What would you like to say? I mean, really hard to say something when you are uh, a host for the Euroleague Final Four and you finish on the fourth place. I think that's the worst thing that can happen. Uh, we played a really good game against Fener and today we lost by 30 points at home, on our home court, front of our fans. I think it's a really big shame. Uh, it's really hard to, to say positive things because there are no words for this. Okay, thank you. Congrats, you finished third place in the EuroLeague. What would you like to say? Well, I'm really proud of this team, you know. Um, it was uh, really hard after the semi-final, you know, losing uh, because we felt we didn't do our job for 40 minutes. And so it was hard to come back. I'm proud of this team. Uh, I think we deserved it. And now we have to celebrate. Okay, congrats again.